Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome back in lecture 16. Student, so basically we we are now in the final stage of our project. As we start the project, you see here that basically this is our project and this is the 3D model, okay? And uh, here we have basically we design the slab panels as you see here these different types of panels we design similarly we design the beams like you see here these are B, B1, B1 beams and these four are B2 beams okay similarly we design columns okay the columns which is right below the beams you see here four columns we design it analyze them these columns then we design footings for these columns okay in whole detail okay in excels as well as manually okay as well as in shape and similarly now the last component is the staircase okay so this is the last component of this project and after that this project will be wound up for the ground story okay so next basically the important question is that that uh, if we basically designing the stairs for uh, for this story or uh, for this project okay so where we have to the question is that that uh, at the first stage we don't basically identify the place of our stairs basically so here basically if you see this project okay so you can provide stairs either in these different panels okay you see in here in b panel in here in a panel as well as in c panel okay it all depends upon the architect okay where he provide the basically the stairs okay so here basically i am basically assuming that let's say we are providing the staircase in panel b okay so for that per purpose I design my stairs here in this panel okay but this depend upon you that whether you want to provide your stairs whether they comes best okay so it's all depend upon you and the architect okay and the the choice of your honor okay so but here I'm not teaching you the architect uh, work okay I'm just teaching you the structure design of uh, the stairs a little bit architect parts okay as well but I am concerned here to basically to teach you the, the structure design of stairs okay so let's start our uh, procedure but before starting the, the design I want just to share you a video which will be very helpful for you people to understand the process of construction of stairs okay so let's watch this video okay one thing you must remember that this is the basically base which we provide to the to the stairs okay and when are we in with uh, attaching the stairs with the ground okay so this is very important inshallah you see that how we place the bars in this portion
one thing you note here that these blocks are basically called block chair blocks which is provided to provide the spacing or you can say clear cover to the bars and remember that the clear cover is basically here is basically it is clear that the clear cover is basically to the to the face of the main bar these are the main bars and these are the distribution bars you must remember and here we have the negative bars you will see here basically these blue color bars you see here these are the negative bars basically you see here because the negative movement there is a negative movement who can stare flight and uh, these are also called the top bars okay for uh, for landing these are the landing bars okay and in landing basically that the, uh, the negative movement is controlled by these movements these bars okay so you must understand these bars note here that the whether they are providing lap okay this is very important and these are also called main bars clear So this ends up students you see here how the basically the RCCR construction uh, is done for staircases okay and you see this is called landing this is called flight and this is called landing okay the upper landing and uh, how they are connected you see the bars detail okay the bars are pretty complicated okay in staircase design basically spe specifically where flight and um, landing coincide with each other okay so this is this junction basically there are different types of bars okay and you see we design all these bars okay so let's start basically our our uh, lecture uh, here we have basically that the data i just write down the data you already know this data if you watching this uh, whole series of lectures okay so our prime fc prime is bore case i if I, one thing you must remember that this, the type of stair which I am providing here is called open well type stair. Okay, open well basically the, the, the this place which you see in between these two flight. Okay, so this place is due to this place it is called open well types uh, staircase. Okay, so this is our data and uh, the headroom which is available that is 16 feet. Remember, this 16 feet is considered from the from one story to remember here okay i will show you 
that it is from the finishing level finishing level or the floor level to the to the top of the other floor level remember this is called head room clear so you must remember this and uh, this is equals to 192 inches uh, here basically the size and rise for the for the first for the first and second flight is uh, 11 and 7 while for the third uh, flight it is 11 and uh, this is very important okay and why I provide basically here you see this is my first flight then landing then my third flight okay then landing and then my second flight so this is my second flight and this is my first flight okay so here let me show you here remember this is my first flight this is my second flight and this is my third flight remember here is landing and here is landing so you must understand the time clear and in this landing basically you in this flight the rise which is provided to this landing you are just only four stairs and this is six inch while the tread are basically 11 inch but the, the rise and tread in this flight is basically 11 inch and 7 inch rise is 7 inch and tread is 11 inch similarly the same detailing here and the length of this flight and this flight is equal so that that's why we design just only one flight which will be similar to this one okay but we have to definitely design this flight and this flight okay so this is the detailing okay the whole detail of the now first of all i am trying to to use equal space uh, equal rise size okay so once i one i one i decide that if let's say i'm using seven inch rise so how much number of stairs i need it 28 numbers okay so 28 numbers i round up round up this so when i basically recalculate my rise that, that comes out to be 6.87 inches so this is the way that if you are providing 20 A's, 28 stairs okay are steps you can say so you have to keep your rise equals to how much uh, that is 6.87 something okay because if you if you provide 7 inch then once uh, rise should be set that its its heights will be different okay so that why uh, i just change the things ha how, how i change the thing let's see which is not a good decision good work okay because one step basically you see 6.857 inch maintain at, maintaining at the site it is difficult okay so that why i have to provide although most of the people do this calculation and they just round up okay but what i am basically did I, I i i keep different the things okay from others but that is also a practice this actually people do this okay but i'm doing here a little, a little bit different okay let's say using r is equal to seven inch okay our rise is seven inch select such a height for first flight which can be divided by seven okay giving a whole number like 49 56 63 let's say here we keep equal length of first and second flight already had explained let's say we say we say we select 84 inch height this is basically the decision which i made here that i assume that let's say i covering seven feet height by this first flight okay and seven feet height by this second flight so I select basically 84 inch 7 feet equals to say 84 inch so that why I have to keep equal rise 7 84 divided by 7 and give me uh, round about 12 rise so in first flight you see 12 rise 1 2 3 4 5 6 no 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so these there are my 12 rise. And similarly, in this flight, I have to provide 12 rise. So that why it covering a distance, a height of 84 here and 84 here. Round about, you see here how much. Uh, here you see, if I provide um, 
84. So one flat covering 84, so multiplied by 2, divided by 7, 24 numbers, total 24 numbers in first and second flight, number of rise. But now remaining height, which is already we have to cover 192 inch height. So 24 by 7 give me how much? You just need to multiply it. It will be less than 192. So this give me basically 190. This give me 190. So 24 inches now remaining, still remaining. We're not reaching to the to the top of the slab. So what we have to do, we, we, we basically, uh, now we have to cover this two feet height, further two feet height. And that two feet height is basically covered here by this third flight. Okay, this third flight, right? You see here, this one. And I have to basically, if I provide seven inch rise to this, to these steps, uh, these steps as you see here, so it give me three point four two. Then I have to again round up things. Okay, so one approach is that you just provide that numbers. You round up, let's say four, then recalculate your rise, so it will be a different form seven inch, but although it can be adjusted at side, it is. It is easy for okay to adjust that rise in this flight okay but what I did I keep different rise that is let's say I am using six inch in this flight so that why give me a round figure and the round figure you see here uh, let's say I using six inches in third flight so you see four numbers so this is a good work okay although a little, a little bit different okay but it will give me it will be easy for the masons okay they can easily provide okay such kind of oh, rises so this is the whole thing okay i assume at the in, in the initial stage that let's say i covering 84 inches height by this flight okay and then 84 by this so 84 plus 84 give me 190 inches and my head room is 16 inch 192 inch so two feet basically remaining and that two feet height is basically covered by by these steps okay by these steps so this is how basically if you see let me show you uh, let me show you from here to here basically this distance is you see two feet and the height which is covered by the first and the second okay from this point to, to to this point okay this is seven feet clap and similarly you see here the height which is covered by the um, by by the by this okay you see seven feet and this is not eleven this is let me remove it it's exactly two feet remember it is exactly two feet okay so here from here to here okay this is exactly two feet so this is the whole architecture drawing of my stair okay and you see how I design basically architecture design uh, remember this is not the final design you can do it better I have uh, I design it in a different way so many times okay but this time I think so this design is pretty um, pretty cool okay and similarly you see this uh, the length of this because if I provide if I cover this whole length because panel A is 18 by 18 or you can say 19 by 19 feet so if I covering 19 feet if I provide to, to this uh, flight so then I have basically the the thickness issue of the stair that is round about 10 to 11 inches okay of the waist slab thickness so that why basically I shrink the length of this flight okay uh okay and this is all uh and this is the third flight remember this the, the middle one this is the section of that one okay so you see six feet i providing landing width okay here six feet landing six by six landing six feet is the width of the staircase okay and the length which is covered by the first and first flight that is 10 feet one inch and similarly 10 feet by one inch and the total length is covered by this steps uh, as you see here 14 feet and 9 inch clear and the flight length of this four steps is 2 feet 9 inch and the 6 feet 6 feet so this is the whole drawing 
our side we have walls and uh, here we have a beam and here we have a base beam clear so you see in the video how they be this beam is provided and how this beam is provided so this basically this these are the whole detail okay the architecture drawing and uh, here you see so rechecking basically i i check all the things 192 is now covered and now trades in first flight now how much trades basically you see here if you properly draw the the plane of this um, first and second flight so you got basically your the number of trades in this flight is basically the number of risers minus one so number of rises in this in this flight is basically 12 inch 12 numbers so just 12 minus 1 there will be 11 number of trades and let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 this is the drawing 11 number of uh, trades okay so in first and second flight we have 11 number trades while in the in the, in the middle one you just you see i think so there are there are three uh, to four basically one remember is landing comes under tread one two three four and five okay so now you have to prepare the complete drawing manually or in autocad so you see effective length for first and second flight will be determined note that here we are using width of stairs six feet in the now this is the formula which will through which we will find the the effective length of our staircase okay for first flight or second flight or third flight number of trades you have to count that is 11 size of trades that is 11 inch for all the flights landing width that is 6 feet 4.5 inches basically bearing which you have to provide and let me show the bearing the bearing is basically you see here that this is the bearing okay you you basically you you have to insert the landing into the wall okay so this length whatever you keep you have to consider four inch 4.5 inch okay you have to consider for example four point this is six inch but remember you have to consider this is SEA criteria that you have to consider 4.5 inch so you must remember for if, for calculation of effective length remember for calculation of effective length you have to consider the 4.5 inch and let me show you from this center to to the center of this beam remember to the center of this beam so here i am not yes this is the center of this beam okay so this will be your now your your effective width effective length okay this will be your effective length or uh, if we keeping the the width of this beam is 12 inches basically i keep here this is 12 inches and 4.5 inch and this length this is the clear length so you got your your effective length and you see here uh, 4.5 and half of the base beam this is the base beam i already show you in video this is the base beam and 12 inches the width of this beam so we got basically you see here 11 number trades 6 feet is the landing width and 4.5 inches basically your bearing and 12 inches you are you have to hop them so you got basically 16 feet and 11.5 inch this is now your effective length okay this is now your effective length for both first and second flight remember for both first and second uh, second flight okay so for this flight and for this flight remember so this is how we can do the calculation mm, okay and now we have uh, the, these are the drawings okay and uh, let's see further what we have this is this is a general drawing which I which I will be explained okay in, when I design the whole process okay the whole down no the design of first flight so inshallah in next lecture we will cover this this is general introduction of the staircase you must remember okay and see you in next lecture uh, watch the video and enjoy thank you